What's up guys, Kalum Mozo about another video and today You already know what time it is. You already know it. This is the reflection of my school part two. If you have not seen the original, I will leave a link in the description below for you to check it out if you would like. Um so the last time I did this, I did it on my old school, ERI Middle School. Um, and now I am currently at Westwood High School. Uh, it's it's been going great. Like my ninth year my ninth my ninth grade year has been going great actually. It's been going good so far up until recently actually. Um like I really had no complaints. The only complaint I had was that the building was way too big. Like seriously, if you go there it looks like a freaking college. Like I'm dead serious. That's how big it is. But I got used to it eventually. And like, I know my way around the school now. I know how to get to classes and stuff like that. You know, on, on time and stuff. So, you know, it's no biggie, really. Because now I know my way around the school. And where I'm going. And, you know, the closest restrooms and water fountains and stuff like that. Yeah, so, you know, it's all, it's all good. It's not really one of my complaints anymore. I mean, it would be. But, you know, now it's like... But, I mean, I guess it is still kind of... Because, like, like, let's say... You walk in between classes, like you have five minutes between each class. That was more than um, last year in middle school when I had like, what, three, when we had like three minutes between each class. Now we have five minutes. But the problem is, like, what if you got to go to the bathroom and then you go to the, like, what if you're coming from a far place, right? Sometimes you may have to go from one side of the school to the other side of the school so you can get to your next class and from one side of school all the way upstairs to the other side of the school to get to your next class what do you got to use the bathroom you want to use the bathroom in between classes some teachers won't let you use the bathroom um during class most of my teachers do though i just use the bathroom like during lunch and like that's really it actually but um so like i said so far it's been great you know actually it's i hope there are some it does have its flaws like every school has its flaws okay it's still better than, um, my last school. It's still better than my last school. But, man, I mean, my last school does have some stuff that's better. Okay, so, for instance, right, one thing that I really do not like is it's the cafeteria place. Okay, like, it's dealing with the cafeteria. Now, lunch... It was really cool, actually, at first, because, like, you could, I remember back at E.O. Wright, where, where we, it was just like, we had to just stay in one lunchroom, you know? Like, before elementary school, middle school, whatever, we just had to, we had, well, especially, but, like, in middle school, you know, we had to stay in just one place, you know? We couldn't even go outside. There was tables outside, outside of the cafeteria at E.R. Wright. I don't even know why there were tables out there. We never went out there. I've never seen anybody ever eat out there. I went there for all three years. I have never seen not one person eating out there. So I don't even know why they were there. Were they just there for decoration, just for show? I mean, I guess, like, there's no other reason to have them there because we already we only eat lunch in the cafeteria. And, and like, when you're done, you, you can't, you, it's like you have to eat lunch in the cafeteria. Like, even if you don't eat lunch, you still have to be in the cafeteria, which is kind of annoying, actually. Why do you have to be in the cafeteria? Can't you just be outside the cafeteria, hanging out with your friends or something, whatever? You know, just chilling by yourself, whatever, it don't matter. Like, why do you gotta be in the cafeteria when you're done with your food? We, they, we had assigned tables, like, every time. We always had to sit with our classes. You know, when even when you're done with your food, you can't just go go walk around, you know, whatever. Go to outside or something. You can't go eat outside. Just eat in the cafeteria. Stay in that cafeteria. And then, and then when you start moving is when lunch is over and then you go back to class. Here at Westwood, that's different. You can actually, they give you more freedom, actually. Um, at lunch, first off, we don't have assigned tables. We do not have assigned tables. So that's a plus. Like that's that's a good thing. You know, we don't we don't have assigned tables. We can sit wherever we would like to sit, whether it be in the cafeteria, whether it be outside, whether it be in the hallways, whether it be on the stairs. We can eat anywhere. Just not obvious places like the media center or something like that. You know, we can't eat there. You can't really go into classrooms during lunch either. But still, you know, they have like a big and what's what they have like a big hall where people can just chill, you know? 
They have a big hall where you can just sit down, relax, chill, talk, hang out, whatever, do, you know, do your own thing. You know? So I like I like how they have that. They didn't really have that at EO, right? They didn't really have a place where you can just relax. It was just like... No. They didn't really give us much freedom. Um, But yeah, you can like just move around and stuff like that. You know, you don't have to be in one in one room the whole entire time. Stuff like that. You know, just go find your friends, whatever. You know, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um But uh one thing, like in the mornings too, like I remember I remember at ERI in the mornings. There was only three places we could go. The um the gym, the media center, and the cafeteria. Those are the only three places you could go if those are the only two places you can go. You cannot go in the main building at all. You couldn't go in any other buildings. Whether it be the 300 building or the 600 building or the 700 building. You couldn't go in any other buildings. You Unless you had a pass. So, but in Westwood... Hey, you know, go wherever. You can either just eat lunch or just go to class. You know, have a late... If you, if sometimes the buses are late so you can get a late bus pass or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. It gives you much more freedoms. But here's my problem with it, though. Okay, here's my problem with Westwood. So, before. This is before, right? This is previously before, like, uh, this thing has started, like, last week. Okay, so, we... I didn't I didn't use the Bringo lunch. Like, the lunch is good at Westwood. It's not, it's not like, it's not an ER right. It wasn't prison food. It was straight. You know, it was good. So I would just go and get my food and stuff, you know. If I didn't have my ID one day, I would just say my name, you know, be like Lance Terrell, type my name in the computer, click, you know, stuff like that, you know. Um, if I had to pay money, hey, no biggie, just have the money um tomorrow. Just pay just pay the money tomorrow and then boom, you know, well, no problems, you know. But starting last week, I didn't have my ID and then they took my lunch away. Okay, I was a little upset, but well, here's the thing. Okay, so they say apparently some students eventually just start saying other people's names. Like they don't have their ID, they, they don't have their ID. They say another person's name that's not their own, and then they just get their lunch. And then when that other person come up, then they be like, "Wait, but I didn't even eat today. What are you talking about?" And they be like, oh, "You know, it's all confusion and stuff." So I can understand that actually. I'm like, I'm, okay, I wasn't a little mad at first, but then I'm like, all right, you know, no, I, I can understand that because you know people claiming to be somebody that they that they not, which is really dumb and retarded. Just say you are who you are. Why are you claiming to be somebody else? I don't get that. Now you just messed it up for everybody. Now if you don't have your ID, you get your food taken away. You know how trouble that is. Why you do? I'm freaking, I'm freaking starving out here. And you freaking taking away my food, like bro. But then I'm like, you know what? It's all good because you know I understand it. I understand that. So, then I just brought my ID, you know, scanned it, everything. So, all last week, I didn't owe any money. I didn't owe any money. Now, this week, starting Monday, uh, Friday, Friday, before I left, before we left for the weekend, Friday, scanned my ID, zero money. I checked my mail, zero money. They didn't say I owed anything. Cafeteria doesn't send you messages if you owe any money. I didn't owe any money. I checked it over the weekend because I was doing homework over the weekend, which required a computer, much required my Chromebook, so I was like... Why not? Just check my mail, see what's going on. Nothing happened. Nothing. Nothing new. Nothing special. Nothing about owing any money. Come today, Monday, I owe 40 cents. Freaking take my lunch away. Are you serious right now? Like, how the heck am I supposed to know that I owe 40 cents? How the heck am I supposed to know that I owe money? Are you real? Are you for real right now? So now I gotta, so now I gotta skip lunch. Now I gotta miss my lunch because freaking I don't have 40 cents because nobody told me I needed to owe 40 cents. All of last week, I didn't owe any money at all, period. I didn't owe anything all of last week. Now, all of a sudden, I owe 40 cents. And freaking, oh, sorry, you don't have 40 cents? Well, give me your lunch. Are you serious right now? You know, you know what I like about you, right? All right, listen, listen, listen. Here at Westwood, you have to pay your lunch money multiple times. I hate that. Why do you have to pay it multiple times? You got to pay it like 10 freaking times in one month. That's annoying. Like, dude, I got stuff to do. I'm not trying to spend all my money on some freaking lunch. Dang, like, why did you take that? Why are you doing this, bro? At EO, right? You only had to pay your money once a year. Once a year, dude. You only had to pay your money one time a year. If you didn't have the money, they would take your lunch, but then they gave you a bag lunch. At least they gave you something to eat. Here at Westwood, they don't even give you nothing to eat. They just straight up take it and say, sorry, can't eat. Are you for real? Like, even if the bag lunches at EO, right, weren't good, still, like, 
Really, dude? You're just gonna you're just gonna let me be hungry. You're just gonna let me starve. Like I've been waiting all day to eat. I finally get my food. Because I don't have 40 cents, because I didn't I had absolutely zero clues that I need to have that I need that old money to the cafeteria. You're gonna take my lunch away. Not even give me a bag lunch. Just freaking take it all away. Say I can't eat nothing. For real? Why do you have to pay multiple times anyway? I've already paid it like ten freaking times. Literally, I'm I'm legit not even exaggerating right here. Like ten times or more. Why do you have to pay it multiple times? At E.O. Wright, back in middle school, I don't know if it was all middle schools or just E.O. Wright. I don't even know. You only had to pay it once a year. That was it. Now, if you didn't have the money, like I said, at least they would give you a bag lunch. They'd at least give you something to eat. Like, dude. And the whole no ID thing, dude. But, all right, on my, like, sixth grade year when you didn't have your ID, they sent you to the back of the line. They sent you to the very back of the line where, like, all the other kids... Like to, to the other kids who didn't have their IDs, you would get your lunch last. At least you still get lunch. At least you still get something to eat. Even if you're the last person, at least you still eat. At Westwood, you don't even eat. They don't even let you eat. They just straight up take it away and say, sorry. Sorry? Are you for real right now? Sorry, not gonna cut it. At least they still gave you something to eat. Here, it's like, screw you. Like, what the heck? Are you for real? And it wasn't even like this before. Before when you didn't have your ID, you just enter your name. I'd be like, Lance Rowe, you know, boom. Get my, I'd be like, you know, just, they just get my information and be like, click on my name, grab my lunch, go eat. You know, good day, you know? If I owe money, be like, okay, have the money by tomorrow, whatever, you know? And then boom, okay, get the money tomorrow, pay it. Good day. Now it's all like, oh, you don't have your ID? Give me your lunch. Oh, you don't have money? Give me your lunch. Are you serious right now? Why, why, why are you doing this? Like, why did they just change it up like this? Why they just take people's lunch? The least they could do is give us a bad freaking lunch. Like, dang, dude. For real. You don't just freaking do that. You don't just do that. You don't just take people's food away and not even give them nothing to eat. What kind of crap is that? that that's messed up, man. That's That's... That's messed up, like for real though. That's really messed up. I don't know if they do this at other schools. I, I I don't know. I bet they don't. I bet they don't do this at other schools. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Who knows? I don't know. But I'm just really mad about that, like for real though. That that oh my gosh. That that's just messed up. Like you don't just freaking do that. You don't just do that crap. Don't even give you something to eat, though. They don't even give you nothing to eat. <sighs> that's like, that's actually like my only complaint about the school, really. In part one, I had so many complaints, but now I'm just like, nothing really to complain about. Like, and you don't get in, and the whole class doesn't get in trouble because of like one or two people anymore either. So that's good, you know. That was good. That's really good, actually. Freaking, it used to be one person in the class talks, and then the whole class full of, like, 30 kids writes, in, writes a five-paragraph essay because of one person. Like, really? Make that person write a five-paragraph essay. Don't make me write it. No, I'm not doing that. And then you might be like, it's for a grade. Nope, I'm not doing it. Still, I don't care. I'm not doing that. I'm not about to do nobody else. I'm not about to do something because somebody else messed it up. I'm not about to do that. No. All right? No. But like, and the teachers, the teachers, they're, they're cool too. The teachers are really cool in high school. They keep it real. They keep it real with you, for real. I like that. They keep it real. And they don't always freaking just act, just act like they're so angry and freaking always get attitudes with their students first and then when the student has a problem with it, they want to write them up. They don't do that in high school. They're like, no, bro. In middle school, some teachers used to do that. And I was like, bro, what the heck? Like, why Why you start yelling all of a sudden? Then be like, you're being very disrespectful, young man. Be like, I ain't even say nothing. What the heck? It don't make sense. Is it still better than my old school? Yes, it is still better. Um, I'm like, you yeah, right though. I don't think they have any pro. I don't think they have any like, you know, like how they had the IB program and the 
law program and avid and stuff. I don't think they have that here at Westwood. I think they just have like clubs and stuff and that's it. I don't think they really have different programs here at Westwood like that. You know. Although although in my um in my third period I do see on the board it says law ed. Law education? Do they have a law program here at Westwood? Shut up. I hate that. That's my PS4. Every time I freaking talk, it's just always popping up that voice command. I'm not even talking. I'm making a video. Leave me alone. God, shut up. Anyway, um, I don't know what they do. They maybe do it and maybe don't. I've never heard of it. So, I don't know. But yeah, that's actually really all I got. That's really my only complaint about the school. It's really all I got to say because like, there's not much else bad about it. I mean, as for bugs, I only saw like one dead roach on the floor. That was about it though. At ER right, I will see multiple dead roaches. Like, bro, no, stop. Um, the cafeteria floors, they're not, they're not very dirty. Um, floors, period. There is not pee on the bathroom. There is not pee on the bathroom floor, I mean, you know, bathroom floor. I love that, like, for real. All throughout middle school, there was always some pee on the bathroom floor. I thought that was really ignorant, childish, and just plain nasty. Like, you was in, like, what, 6th, 7th, 8th grade? You, like, what, 12? Well, if you're 12, then I can actually understand. If you're 11 to 12, then I could probably understand that, even though it's incredibly ignorant and childish. But, but then you're getting 7th grade and 8th grade, you're, like, what, 13, 14 years old? Why why are you peeing on the floor, dude? Why are you doing that? Because it's not like it was an accident. Like, it's just legit a puddle of pee on the floor, like... So it's not like they just got a little tiny sparkles of pee on the floor while they were peeing in the urinal. You know, it's a legit puddle of it on the floor. I'm like, so why, why, why are you doing that? Why are you just peeing on the floor? What the heck? Maybe I should go and just pee on the floor. What? Why are you doing that? But they don't do that in high school. Apparently they just grow up, be like, all right, that's that's nasty and that's trifling. That's ignorant and that's childish. Let's stop doing that. So that's a good thing too. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it, actually. Um, that's pretty much all I gotta talk about. Well, that's what just made me mad today. They, they made me mad. They made me mad. That's why I wanted to go to Spring Valley anyway. All my freaking friends are at Spring Valley. I can name, like, a lot of people that I knew from ER right at Spring Valley. Let's go. Okay. Actually, maybe not a lot. I don't know. Okay, so we got, let's see. We got Garrett, Terrence, Ja'Kai, Kaylin, uh, what was his name? Aaron. We got... I don't remember anybody else. Did, did I remember anybody else saying it was going to Spring Valley? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. But yeah, it was. It was. It was a lot of them. They were. we all going to Spring Valley, and I'm like, I'm just going to Westwood. Well, I don't know nobody. Well, I do know some people. So, but hey, it is what it is. Um, that's really my only complaint about Westwood, though. Um, if they would just fix that. They knew it would be perfect, but until then, I'm just going to take a lunch to, to school. And I'm never going to pay that money. I'm never paying that, ever. I don't care what they say, I'm never going to pay that. Period. I always got to pay. I'm not paying no more. Screw that. I'm done. So, that's going to be all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe because there's plenty more content on my channel. And, man. Yo, Dragon Ball Universe 2 comes out tomorrow, doesn't it? The beta for that ended, so I guess there's no more videos on that. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare beta? I don't know. Should I play it again? Multiplayer? I don't know, probably. I mean, I don't even plan on getting the game, but... Yeah, so... If you guys want to subscribe, if you want to stay tuned for that, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.